Dulverton has 720 houses, 177 streetlights, 40 shops and cafes, 3 schools, 3 pubs and a sports ground. That's a lot of lights. If this is going to work, we'll need to get the whole town on board. First things first though, Hello, we had to meet with the Mayor. So what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for us? It's getting out the word to everybody that they should do what we want them to do and that is make the big switch off, the biggest switch off that we can ever make. It. We knocked on hundreds of doors, dropped leaflets through letterboxes and spoke to as many me. residents as we could find. Oh, I noticed that, you can be able to turn that off for us. Oh, even better. <laughs> Hello. What yeah. lights do you normally have on? Um, Maybe the upstairs. <laughs> the upstairs light, yeah. Most of the lights, yeah. Thank you very much indeed for your support. No. And thank you too. I'm exhausted. I've been delivering leaflets all day, but the response, I think, has been pretty positive. I just hope they weren't telling me that just to get me off their doorsteps. Dulverton is part of Exmoor National Park, which has some of the darkest skies in the UK. But even this relatively small town generates enough light to obliterate the stars with a fuzzy orange glow. Light pollution doesn't just reduce the visibility of stars. Light that shines where it isn't needed is a waste of energy and a waste of money. We've chosen Dulverton as our switch off challenge, but there are thousands of towns and cities all over the country that could benefit from a little less light. Only a few days to go. This morning, one of the schools in Dulverton has allowed me to take the school assembly. I'm a bit nervous because I've not done that since I was in school. But if I can get the kids on board, I can get the parents on board. So what we need you all to do is to go home tonight, when you finish school, and get all of your parents to turn off all the lights in your house. Are you going to help us? Yes! Yeah! Yes, brilliant stuff. But what we need now is some kind of signal to make sure that all the lights are switched off at exactly the same time. So I've arranged a meeting with the church bell ringers. So will everyone in Dulverton be able to hear the signal? If the wind's in the east, right. they'll hear it, and if it's in the west, they won't. Oh, so if the wind's blowing in the wrong direction, no one's going to hear it? No. Oh, crikey, so this might work and it might not work. Man, we're going to see a man about some street lights. Well, the majority of the, the lights will have to be visited individually. We can't just push a big red button and it all turns off. Could perhaps do that 20 years ago, but not now. Crikey, that sounds like a big job. Do you think we can do it, though? Oh. It, yes, yeah. Well, we've, we've visited hundreds of houses and businesses around Dulverton. We've spoken to local mayor. The police are shutting the roads off for us. We've got posters up around the town. I really don't know if this is going to work, but if it does, it's going to be fantastic.